Now I made this user interface without any UI UX designing experience and you can too because your resident tutor and AI is here for you. So they were going to be using an AI tool called Galileo to create a user interface in just a few minutes. And the good thing is you can start up for free. And here is how to start. Now to start, go to usegalileo.ai and it will lead you to the website. This one's here are templates of websites, landing page and profiles that you can simply just click on and edit. If you want to generate UI UX designs for mobile phone, click on mobile and you would see the examples they have. If you want to generate designs for desktop sites, then you can click on web. But if you want to generate uh, new ones, there are two ways of doing it. You can either use image by going to image to UI and and upload the idea of what you want, like an image that represents the idea of whatever you want the app to generate for you. If it's a landing page, a home page, a website, a profile, whatever. And then in design quest, you can basically describe what it is all about to give the AI an idea of what you actually want and then you go to generate but I don't have any idea so I simply go to text to UI and you just basically treat it like chat GPT go to new design then sign in using your Gmail account and here you can describe what you want to design I simply just type web page for a clothing brand and generate and there you can continue communicating with AI until it totally understands what you want. I simply just said yes to everything because I have no idea of what I actually just want to generate. I just wanted to try the app. So I just let it do everything for me basically. Then I can do some edits later. And then it generated this. Basically, it looks so professional. Like I'm actually really impressed with it. Now this is how the interface would look like on a mobile phone and it has home screen, product catalog, product details, shopping carts, checkout, user profile, basically everything I want or you would want in your mobile app. Now you can change it to your preferred text fonts and color here. So I want to change this blue color to green like Tokyo's green. And it will basically change everything to Tokyo's green, as you can see. I mean, all the blues to Tokyo's green. If there are other changes you want to make, you can click on edit and then give it a text prompt. So everything has to be changed with a text prompt. Now, another good feature about this app is you can export to Figma and make some changes if you want as an expert that you are but for people like us that are beginners i don't think that's necessary for us if you don't know what figma is ui ux designers actually use it to manually um, create interfaces i mean design interfaces but this time around we already designed it so we just paste it here and if you want to make some changes to each section you can actually do that i also generated a desktop site interface by going to new design and click on web instead of mobile and then describe what I wanted it to generate and look it gave me exactly what I wanted like it doesn't even look like AI did this it looks like a human being actually did this and you can basically edit it on Figma but the problem is I've exhausted my free version now like every other app the free version is limited so if you try out the app and you realize you actually like it then you would have to pay for it to use it in the long run and they have different subscription plan for people that want to actually use it consistently and continuously and if you're already a UI UX designer you don't have to worry AI is not really the enemy here I would consider it a tool to help me get my deliverables on time it can be used to be efficient besides not everyone is a fan of the internet and AI and tech and all that stuff so there will always be people who are willing to pay other people to do things like that for them because they don't have time for that they have other things to do they have other specialized areas so your job is always there for you that's how I see it so you don't have to fear about AI taking your jobs you just see it as a tool to make your work easier for you because at the end of the day you still put some touches because it's AI it's not going to be perfect so if you want to make some changes you'd still have to add your own expertise and things like a dehuman touch to it so you don't have to be scared about things like that and for more useful AI tutorials like this click on this playlist here and I'll see you in my next video make sure you like and subscribe okay don't forget
बाय